Hello there. Today, we're going to create a simple comic panel using Apple Pages. Right here, I'm using a desktop version, but it's kind of similar on your iPad. All right, so let's start by adding a table. Use the table tool and add the simple table like this one. On the right side, we can modify the style of it and we just want to switch off the altering row colors. We don't need that, definitely. All right, we can also get rid of a column here. We need just three columns. So let's click here and reduce the number to three. And same for the rows. Let's reduce the number of rows to four. All right. I will drag this down so we get more space inside the table. Okay, almost there. Then let's move to the cell. On the right side, we are in the table. Now we're moving to the cell. Here we're going to set up the border. Maybe two points will do. All right, looks more like a comic panel already. For the final touch, we will merge some cells. They are not exactly equal in comics, so we need to merge them. You can select two cells, right click, and you will see merge cells option. So this way we can merge cells like that. End up getting a bigger cell. That's what we want. All right, this one and maybe this one as well. So that's our base for the comic, our little story. Of course, we could use your hand drawings. We can import pictures from the internet to fill in our table, our comic. But in my case, I will keep it really simple. So we use basic shapes that are already provided within the program. So to do that, I will simply click shapes. And from here we can search for shape of a man. All right, it's move my table down. That's not good. So let's adjust this shape. Text warp, that's what we need to change to none. We don't wanna warp this. So now we can place it anywhere on our comic. That's nice. Let's alter the color of this guy so it's not only black and white comic. Let's give him a some kind of tin color. So I'm changing the field color for this shape. This guy will be orange. All right, that will be his color. So walking from this direction, that's nice. And of course, a comic needs a speech bubble. So I'm using the shape again. And this time in the basic group, you will notice there are some speech bubbles for us to use. Again, as you notice, this moves stuff around. So let's switch off this warping to none again. Perfect. And we got the speech bubble that we can modify. There are three different modifiers. We can change the roundness of the corner, thickness of this ending here, and move this all around. 360 depends on your needs. So keep that in mind. Okay, so this guy need the one maybe above here. Of course, we can also add some rotation to it as well. No problem with that. All right. If you want to add text, the easiest way will be to simply double tap on it and start typing. We can also modify the color of the shape in the style menu. The classic is a white speech bubble with a border. That's the standard one, like this. And then we need to modify the text color. Right now it's white. We need to turn it black. So that will be a classic speech bubble. All right, and the font is a two clear I would say let's try to change the font to something more like handwriting imitation 
you probably got fonts like that already let's search for something like that something that resemble handwriting all right architect's daughter that's the one i'm going to choose make it a little bit larger and that's a nice start all right and then when you add in more shapes more images you can build up your little story of course as i mentioned you don't need to make it very simple like i'm working on right now you can add uh, actual hand draw images or you can add some favorite characters that you find on google image just be sure you are not breaching any copyrights all right so let's add a, another character because i want to show you one more technique so let's say i'm adding this woman here of course non-warping so we can place her every, anywhere the thing is i don't need the whole figure i just need a half of it but her legs now are popping down to another part of the comic so how can we hide them the easiest way is to simply cut them using another shape so let me show you how we will draw another shape basic one like rectangle and now we can cover her legs with this rectangle select both shapes so i'm holding shift on my keyboard if you select two shapes you will see those additional options here at the bottom in our range panel and there are four options unite so we will turn those two shapes into one intersect only the intersecting part will stay we can also subtract and we can also exclude that's kind of reversing intersection and we want to subtract so we're going to use this shape at the top to cut the shape below take a look and this way I cut this shape half using the rectangle. Now I can place it in my comic without worry that part of the shape is popping up into another part of the comic. All right, so that's how we can do it. We set up the table to get our borders. Then we add shapes and also speech bubbles. To add the text into your speech bubble, just a double tap on it to type inside. All right, I hope this video is helpful and don't forget to check other Apple page tutorials. See you in the next tutorial. Bye.